Alafia aho, I say namaste and happy Mother's Day to all. Before I step out, let me make this video for you guys because many people ask me for a part two regarding the effects and energies of different belief systems that are tied in to the karmic energy of necromancy and black magic. So let's begin. First of all, here is the definition. When someone is doing, and I don't know, they usually use the term black magic, but let's use the term magic and enticing lower energies. We all have our guardian angel that stands in front of us. And once that's done and we agree to do harm to someone or to bend or change someone's faith through the intention of hurting them and causing them despair, our guardian angel turns their back on us. And so do our spirits of light. We are then working with darker spirits and darker energies, eventually you will have to pay the piper. Even if you feel like you're already paying the piper um, by giving them offerings and so forth, you are paying the piper later on because there are, when that person's guardian angel and their spirit guides and the angels of God are going to fight against that. Even if you feel like it's justified, it's not your hands like vengeance belongs to me, saith the Lord. So it's not your hands that are going to get dirty. The guardian angel, no matter what, is going to defend because that's what they were born. They, that's what they were sent to do when the person was born. So does in the Wiccan creed, does it happen 10 times fold? No, it happens 100 times fold. And then it goes from generation to generation. So this is why when people ask me for magic spells or to complete spells, that's one thing I stay away from is spells of harming others. Why? Because people have children and grandchildren, great grandmothers, elders, and innocent people that are living with them, and it's going to hurt them too. And that's not in my my frame. I only work good and light. I do do love spells and so forth. That other party has to be in agreement of the love spell. We do healing work. So that is the difference. When you're doing prayers for someone, when you're sending love and energy, when you're doing love spells and the people agree, the couple agrees that they want this love spell done, that is in agreement, but anything that will cause harm is not in agreement. Do I know how to? Do Am I knowledgeable? Extremely. But do I have to take my knowledge and use it for bad or use it for harm? No. So do know anything that happens, leave it to God, leave it to your guardian angels. And those of you who have different faiths, I totally love and respect that as I'm very eclectic. 